Hey guys, today I'm going to try and show you how to rebuild your water pump on your CRF. This will work for CRFs from 02 to 05, uh, CRF 250s, 450s, it probably even works on your TRX as it's the same exact engine. So not only am I going to go through rebuilding your water pump, but we're going to talk about modding your impeller. And that's going to create some positive pressure back there and keep your seal extra sealed. So that should be fun. After you've gotten your tools and your supplies, what's the first step? Uh, well, for me personally on my bike, I'm going to have to take off my skid plate. If you have anything like that, it's best to just take that off too, gets it out of the way, and it makes draining your oil a lot less of a pain in the ass. Speaking of that, the next thing you're going to want to do is drain your oil. You don't have to drain your engine oil, but unless it's brand new, might as well just do that too. Put brand new oil in everything and call it good. But for this, you only have to drain your transmission oil. After you've completely drained your oil, the next thing you're going to want to do is drain your coolant. You're going to want to go to the lowermost bolt on your impeller cover and it's going to have a little washer on it and it's an 8 millimeter socket. After you do that, you're going to want to take off your coolant reservoir cap and that'll allow airflow in and it'll drain a lot faster. And once you do that, just have your drain pan ready, let everything drain and we'll move on to the next step. So the next thing we're going to do is finish taking off the impeller cover. When you have all the bolts loose and you're about ready to break the seal on your impeller cover, be sure that you're ready for it. You might have a lot gush out on you. Just be prepared for that. Here you can see the o-ring on the back of your impeller cover. It's a good idea to replace those as well because you don't want your impeller cover to leak. Now at this point you have two options. You can either remove your impeller or you can remove your entire right engine cover. I'm going to choose to do the impeller, just remove that now, because I have a feeling that I have a bearing problem and my bearing has play in it and this will be an easy way for me to see if there is excessive play in my bearing. Also if you say for whatever reason put your uh, seal in backwards, your water seal, then that will give you access to that and if you're very careful and very patient, you don't have to take off your entire right side engine case just to pull out that water seal and have the new one on the right way. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off now. Just remember that it's super simple to take your entire right cover off and on the bench you can just use a wrench and a socket to easily take your impeller off. Alright, here you will also notice that there's a copper crush washer on the back of the impeller uh, that goes on the shaft. Um, you might as well replace those. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to remove your outer water seal really quick at this point in the disassembly because if you do put it on backwards for whatever reason you can get it off here without having to take off your right side cover and replace the gasket and go through all that pain. If you do choose to do this method be sure to be really careful as you don't want to scratch the seal surface and create a permanent leak. So all that's to it is we're just going to take some needle nose pliers and slowly work our way around the edge of the seal. Some backwards or forwards either way and you want to get it off. Uh, sometimes it helps to take a mallet and a screwdriver and gently like bend the lip in. Note here that the proper seal direction is with the lips facing out and the flat side facing into your right side cover. The same is true of your oil seal. The flat side should be facing in to your right side cover but not in towards your engine. So now would be a great time to talk about your counterbalancer, which is the gear shaft to the right of your primary gear. And I have a video that goes more in depth about how to replace that and shows you how everything comes apart. But basically there's two bearings and over time those bearings can wear out and they'll have play in them and then that shaft has play in it. And what happens is the play in that shaft creates play in your impeller shaft. And when you have play in your impeller shaft that opens up your water seal and lets water out. So if you haven't done that, I would recommend doing that also. It's probably time to replace those as well and then you'll be 100% certain that you're not going to have leaks for a long time. We're going to move on by taking our right side cover off and a quick tip. If you guys want to keep track of your bolts in a super simple way, just take a piece of cardboard and I'm just going to use my knife, poke a hole in it and then take the bolt and put the bolt in that hole and create a template of what your right side cover looks like and you'll never lose your bolts again. Now that we have our right side cover off, we have access to our impeller shaft, our oil seal, and our bearing. Uh, we're going to want to replace all of those including our impeller shaft. Even the slightest little nick or burr on your shaft can create a opening in the seal and cause you to have leaks. When taking off your oil seal and your bearing, you can either use a bearing removal tool 
uh, slide hammer and pop both of them out at the same time, or you can go in through the outer uh, water seal side and punch them out with a drift and a hammer. Either way works. Uh, just get them out nice and safe. Don't scratch anything and you'll all be good. As for the impeller modification itself, sadly I did not catch it on camera due to a camera malfunction, but it's really simple. Just look at the schematic here. I found a picture of it online. There's a few of them. And all you're going to do is drill a hole. And what that hole does is it creates positive pressure on the seal behind it and helps keep it sealed. For me, all I did is I took a ruler and then made a little dimple with a punch and then I just put it at an angle so that I could drill straight into it with the drill press, drill down, and then turn it flat on its back and drilled all the way through and it looks exactly like it's supposed to. So the trick to this is that in 2006, Honda did the exact same thing. They created an impeller with this. So if you go to your dealership and ask for an 02 to 05 impeller, you're gonna get the old style one. But if you ask for an 06 and up impeller, then you're going to get the exact same impeller, only it's gonna have a hole pre-drilled in it. You can do this as an alternative option. Now, after we've either bought our 06 and up impeller or modified our old impeller, uh, all that's left is reassembly, so we're just going to put our oil seal back in, our bearing back in, our uh, water seal, our new impeller, uh, new o-ring, all that stuff. We're just going to put it on a right side case. We're going to put that back on. You're definitely going to want to replace your cover gasket. And if you're having trouble putting your cover on, it helps to sometimes move your impeller shaft and that will line it up right and then it'll slide right on. Now what we're going to do is take our template that we have, put our bolts exactly where we had them. Don't forget to put your brake lever and your kickstart lever back on. And lastly, the final things that we're going to do are put the impeller cover back on, tighten down the bolts, don't forget to tighten up your hoses, and then we're going to take it for a test drive. Get it nice and warm, drive it around for a while, pop a wheelie, do whatever, and then come back and check and see if it leaks. Well, looks good. No leaks at all. Dry as a bone. So just wanted to thank you guys all for watching. Hope this helps. Uh, if there's any questions about anything in the video that you guys have, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, if YouTube actually bothers to update me, I will reply as soon as I can. And yeah, thanks again, guys. <laughs>